Hi, so this video is a follow-up video for Aries. Aries, uh, the reason I'm doing your video is because your videos got the most views uh, and the most likes. So, Aries, in the month of September, an additional uh, reading here, an additional platform for information for you. So, Aries, as you continue on your journey, and this is your journey, not the journey that you're with your partner, not your journey, you know, with anybody else, but this is your journey. And I do feel like you're trying to please too many people at one time. I feel like you're being pulled and stretched into so many different directions. It is definitely considered an opportunity in one way. And it is also showing you how so many people adore you, appreciate you, and depend on you. Aries has been uh, the sign that has been most helpful to other signs, including water signs and air signs. Aries has um, assisted both <clears throat> air and water signs, meaning Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries has found themselves out on a limb on many occasions, even doing without even um, not getting enough sleep, uh, Aries are pretty much running themselves ragged right now. I'm not sure what brought on for each person. It's going to be different. Um, the energies that brought on the reason for all this um, participation that is required and requested from you. Aries, in the next 30 days, so I'm, I'm doing this recording here today on September 5th, I believe. Um, or actually, it could be the 6th, sorry. It's the 6th. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm updating you uh, about the events that are coming towards you. So Aries, for the next 30 days, you are going to encounter some blessings. So let me just put that out there first. That way you're not overwhelmed with everything else that I say. But Aries, you are definitely going to get a break of some kind. There is something that's coming towards you, meaning an offer, an invitation, an invite, or whatever, that is going to help you to bring it down a notch. Because right now Aries is up here. Up here, just reaching, stretching, um, pulling, tugging, you know, meaning that you're, you're reaching out on a limb to help somebody. You're pulling in, trying to get some assistance or trying to get some uh, help, um, trying to find solutions or answers, uh, either for yourself or for other people. I also feel like you're playing tug of war, meaning you're, you're trying to get somebody to come towards you, Aries. You're trying to get somebody to show themselves in the light. Meaning, you don't want them to come towards you trying to pretend to be something that they're not. You want to make sure that this person who's making an offer to you, that they're being uh, truthful. That they can validate. That they can um, prove beyond a reasonable doubt, pretty much, uh, what their intentions are. Some of you are very skeptical about somebody, you're not very trusting, you're not, um, you're not trying to be judgmental, but based on somebody's past actions, based on someone's history, you are def definitely analyzing carefully, you are analyzing the situation, you are making sure all the I's get dotted and all the T's are crossed. Aries, you have come to a certain point in your life right now where it is crucial that you make the right choices and decisions. Aries are definitely overwhelmed with the amount of heartache, um, disappointments, as well as letdowns that you've had. It also feels like even with Aries, sometimes family has even been part of that uh, group of letdowns or disappointments or heartache. Um, not just your partner. For some of you, Aries, you have tried to um, overcompensate in so many ways for other people's lack of trying or lack of work being put in.
For some of you, maybe you've had to cover other shifts for coworkers, but when you need a shift covered, they're busy. Um, family members, you may have to fill in on certain things, but when you need help, everybody has an excuse why they can't. For some of you, you're dealing with a love interest that may be from your past. Somebody who finally now gets it. Somebody who's brought themselves to the church. Somebody who's brought themselves as a God-fearing person, man or woman. Somebody is trying to show you that they are working on change. They are working on changing. They're working on treating people better. They're working on respecting others more. They're working on their future. So your ex-partner or your current partner, whatever your situation is, they are trying to come towards you with good intentions. They are not around you to scheme you, to fool you, to manipulate you, to use you. For some of you, you may have gotten an apology from someone. It was sincere. However, I don't think they understand the depths of hurt and pain and anguish and despair that they caused you. I don't think they see it yet, but I do think you're progressing in a way by the way you respond to them, by the way that you're making them work very hard to get your attention. I do think that in some more time, they're going to finally see exactly why you are the way you are now. Because this is what they, in fact, created. They created the so-called monster, the so-called person, victim that you've become. Because you invested 110% to them, and in the past, they may have only give you 50, maybe 60. Now they're coming back towards you, and they're wanting to invest more. They're wanting to make this work. They're wanting to find a solution. They're wanting to know how to make this up to you. When you're thinking, Aries, you're not sure how exactly or what exactly they could do. You don't even know what could they do to push away and bury all the bad things that have happened and allow you and them to create something new. It is very complimenting. It is also very heartfelt. Part of you feels really good. And loving the fact this is what you wanted. You wanted them to come back toward you. You wanted them to apologize. You wanted them to come at you the right way. Now that you've got them trying to do that, now you don't know if you want it. Because before the challenge that was created to you was getting that person or keeping that person or, or bringing them towards you. Because when they were not speaking with you, when there was no communication, you missed the hell out of them. And you cried a lot for that. Now that they're coming back and offering you so much, now you're crying because of that. Because now that would mean you have to put your heart out there again. That would mean you're going to have to take a risk again. That would mean you're going to have to open up again. That would mean, yeah, they could hurt you, but they could also love you. Are the chances stronger that they would hurt you more than love you? No. Are the chances stronger that they would love you more than hurt you? No. The chances are based on your opinion, on your feelings. If you're going to allow fear to control the rest of your life and every move that you make, whether you try to date somebody new, you're going to have the same fear. Whether you try to date somebody from your past, you're going to have the same fear. The benefit of going back with somebody from your past versus somebody new is you already know their moves. You already have an indication, an inclination. Um, your intuitiveness will pick up when they're not being truthful. You'll know all that. A new person, you've got to learn all that all over again. And the fact still remains that your heart belongs to that person from the past. Your heart, your future, depended on them. Maybe the situation that fell apart or went away for a little while. Maybe that caused you to step up. Man up or woman up. And get things together. Get things back on a good track. <clears throat> At the same time. Even though 
What didn't kill you made you stronger. When it's time now to show that strength, you're afraid to do it. You're wondering what you should do. I feel like there's going to be an opportunity here for you to let someone in, but you're going to have to decide you know, do you feel that this person is going to be helpful in your future, help you to grow? Or is this person going to knock you down? The beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. However you feel about this person, depending on how much you love them, it is going to base your decisions, will be based on trust. Your decisions, not so much to even trust them, but to trust yourself. Please try to separate things to get to the point where there's a difference between how you feel now and how you felt then. Don't short yourself out of true love, of real love. Don't judge so quickly your partner from the past as far as why they walked away, why they didn't communicate, what was going on in their life. But obviously it was something large, something heavy for them that they brought themselves to a place of a higher power. They've got themselves now back in church. They've got themselves or back with a, a counselor or back with a, their highest power. They're trying to do that. They want to fix things. They know what they did was wrong. They know how they treated you was less than average, less than average. They now see that they should have handled things differently. And in the near future, they will. If you allow them that one chance or that step to come in. For those of you who have completely released your partner, Keep yourself in faith and in check because there is new love coming, but you cannot and must not and should not compare a last relationship, a past relationship, a whole different person to this new person because that will create a self-sabotage. Right now, the only person against you, Aries, is you. The only person fearing what's to come in the near future. Fear is always the unknown. Everything that you haven't done yet or anybody that you haven't dated yet is all under unknown, under so-called fear. Aries, life is short and you've learned that over the past three to six months. You've learned how short life can be. You learned how tomorrow is not promised to anyone. So why would you cut yourself short and exclude yourself from being happy if you truly can. You might have to bite the bullet here. But I promise you, God will be with you every step of the way. Your heart will get filled. Your tears will dry up. And the scars will start to heal. Don't shortchange yourself.